Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, I was I was rushing a little bit. Uh, even though I was earlier today, I don't I don't know what, what's going on, but. <laughs> but hello. We're here. We're, we're doing the thing. We're streaming again. On a Tuesday. I didn't stream on Tuesday last week. <laughs> but hello. Choco is today's first. And Chris is today's second. Craig is today's third. Nice. Nice. I hope you're all doing well today. Hope you're doing good. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Streamlabs, sometimes you have to like re-enable it because it's like it's it turns offline sometimes. I don't know why. So that's that's why it was a little bit late for work today. Uh and Serufian, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm wearing a tunic. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> tunic on a Tuesday? You know, you, you're absolutely right, Chris. You are completely correct. Um, yeah, yeah. It feels so weird to be live at this hour, even though, like, that's the, the Tuesday hour, um, for me, but still, it's just, it's just too bright, you know? <laughs> hey, Craig! <gasps> Chris! Chris? Oh, 13 months. Happy 13 months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been, it's been, honestly, it feels like it's been longer, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's been that long either. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> But thank you so much. Carry on, everyone. I mean... Now that you said that, uh, the, now we should just... Now we should just focus on Chris. No, I'm, just <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, go follow Chris if you haven't already. Do it. He also has... like He has some of the best emotes on Twitch. I'm just saying. It's because he has one of the best artists, artists uh, drawing the emotes for him as well. Uh, and not to mention that his content is also top tier because, you know, he has the best humor. The, the dad jokes are on point. So if that is your thing, you should definitely go and go there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. I, I know I'm laughing, but I'm not joking. I just know that he doesn't like the attention. <laughs> um, I hope I'm well. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I, I can't complain. Honestly, I was up uh, like I woke up uh, at nine today, which is wild on my day off. Like I don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> so I, I slept for maybe like five and a half hours. So you know, it's gonna be good to go to bed uh, early today, I guess, because I have work tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna um, have like a, a little meeting tomorrow about. Uh, extending my my contract at the job so uh hopefully that will go well so um because my contract actually ends on the like the the last day of the month like this month so technically i don't have that much longer but i think based on what he told me at work yesterday about like plans uh that are happening at the workplace and stuff and he told me stuff that he, you know he didn't have to or would like include me and stuff that he didn't have to if he didn't expect me to be there for longer so i assume that i'm gonna keep working there can't keep a straight face while saying it it's all i know <laughs> it's not true i only speak in 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 in, in truths chris that's exciting yeah yeah i mean i did have like 15 hours i think in my contract like 15 hours uh, per week um 
and then he told me like we can revisit that and see if you can get more hours once the contract ends is what he said when i first uh signed it but honestly i can tell by the way things are now i don't know if i can or should have more Gobi, than thank you for the 69 butts hey Gobi, <laughs> thank you for the 69 butts <laughs> How you doing, Gobi? I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. But yeah, so, so, um, what was it that I was going to say? Uh, uh, I, I don't remember now. <laughs> Sent that a while back, took an age to come through, didn't mean to interrupt the story time. No, it's fine, it's fine. It, it ha like, I, it doesn't take much for me to remember where I left off. Um... <laughs> Were you good though? Stressed to be to the absolute balls over trying to get everyone- everything wrapped for the move? Yeah, because you move at the big. is it the beginning of July? That you move? Well, I hope the work is going well overall. Even though it's- it's stressful. Like, stressful- like, work- no. Work. Uh, move- moving is one of the top three most stressful things that you do in your life. So, I feel you. The fifth? Mm. I see, I see. It's gonna go well, though. It's gonna go well. But yeah, oh yeah, what I was, what, what I was saying was that um, I actually don't think that working longer or more hours during the week is is going to be good good for me. Uh, I feel like I know it sounds like very little, but it's like I feel like I'm when I have to be at an office. If I could work from home, I could work even more. I think, but my boss doesn't like that. Maybe so. Maybe I can talk to him about it. Like I can work more if I can have more of that time working from home instead of going to the office. So we'll see, we'll see. I think... I think that would be good. We'll see what he says, though. It's not actually the move itself, it's more the wrapping everything up, like, uh, work, things you said you'd help friends with. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, because it is a really big move, though. Like, you're moving to a different country and continent and everything. Moving in the same country sucks. Can't imagine moving to a whole different nation. Mm. Go, go Beth. <laughs> Work from home is the, is the best. Yeah. I just... There are a lot of things that I've learned about myself after I started working here that really just... makes it challenging for me. That I, I didn't really have the chance to try out before because usually whenever I've been working it's been very temporarily and not over a longer period of time like I have now. Um, so... Yeah, I've had a lot of days where I had to... to not come into to work and just decide that I, I am going to work a different day because that was part of the deal when I started there, that I, I needed a, a flexible job for... like, when I... I'm not feeling good. So I can just work a different day if I need to, or if I, if I, yeah, if that works better. You'll have a pint of cheese. <laughs> you take it back? Wait, you don't, you don't like cheese? Well, I mean, I know you used to be vegan, but I thought you liked cheese. But also, go be your vegan. What type of cheese are you talking about? I mean, I assume they have vegan cheese over there too, but you know. Um... <laughs> you already have the commemorative glasses on. <laughs> Not the good <Kuna> goblets. <laughs> that one was new. I've never heard that one. <laughs> hmm. A pint of cheese, though. I, I I can actually I can actually picture that. 
<laughs> the cheddar chalices. <laughs> Drinking a pint of cheese, though? Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge cheese fan. I am not. Like, I, I like basic, very tasteless cheese. But I'm not, I'm not a, I don't really like most cheeses. Cheeses. Jesus Christ. Uh, you had a vegan cheese with mozzarella flavor today on your home uh, made pizza. <laughs> Connorsaurus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've never been much for, for cheese, honestly. Uh, never really worked well for me. The, the 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 pungent flavors and stuff. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. But what have you guys been up to though? What have you been up to? I feel like I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a long time, but I'm I mean it, it's only been Saturday, but it's like th this is the longest time that I go in between streams, Saturday and Tuesday. So it just it just feels like such a long <laughs> also, there's some things that I need to mention that I haven't. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an announcement once I have the um, the um, the promotional posters or whatever for it. Um, but on on Saturday, I don't know. Does it start on Friday or does it start on Saturday? I, did, I actually forgot. I think it starts on Saturday, though. But we're gonna... In CKT, aka the Cool Kids Table, uh, are doing a Pride Raid Train, which I'm gonna be a part of. Um, so... The only time that I'm not gonna be streaming Baldur's Gate 3 is gonna be on Saturday this week. Every other, uh, other stream is gonna be Baldur's Gate. Just so we can kind of finish the game because it's been it's been um it's been a while now and it's mostly been because I've had to cancel a few more streams than I imagined um and after after Baldur's Gate 3 I also have different plans but the game that we're gonna play do you guys won't know what it is the, the theme is obviously going to be LGBTQI uh, plus uh, games, either made by um, people who identify as that, or with a theme related to that, or with characters who are LGBTQI plus. Um, so, what I have decided... Let me just find it, because, like, I don't... I don't know what it is about me, but I... I can't seem to remember the name, like, word for, like, the, the exact name of the game. <laughs> well, I actually do, but I'm like, I always need to double check, because I have it right, but then it's like, I start to second, second guess myself, and like, is, is, is that right? Yeah, it is, it is. That Metroidvania with- no, 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 I've already played that. Also, AKO is gonna be playing that. Um, AKO is gonna be playing Cookie Cutter. I'm not gonna be playing it. Um, what I'm gonna be playing is... In Stars and Time, which is kind of like a mix. Like, the vibe that I'm getting is like a mix between Undertale and Amori, which are two of my favorite games as well. These are like in my top... Seven. Of games so that's gonna be fun it's it's a black and white uh, white by the way black and white uh, RPG game that is very similar in style I could still play BG3 I could but I feel like I need to I need to I need to start something new I feel like it wouldn't be right to, to stream a game that was like in the middle or at the end in, because like for a raid train as well it's like a lot of people are going to come in that might get spoiled that don't want to get spoiled and i don't want to i don't want to ruin that for people <laughs> it just wouldn't feel right but i you you're absolutely right though it is it is a perfect game for that i'm honestly a little i actually thought about that i'm a little bit sad that no one 
decided to play that during the rain chain. <laughs> it could have been such a good game for it, you know? Um, It's probably only been a week, but feels like forever since you've been here. I don't remember. Hold on, let me let me check the, the chat log. <laughs> uh, last time was on the 13th, so it, it's been five days. It's been five days. <laughs> it's been 84 years, yeah. I'm announcing I'm gonna do do an announcement. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're extra here. <laughs> uh, asking you what game I'm going to be playing because I'm not sure. <laughs> Assistance. <laughs> God damn it. They're on to me now. They're on to me. Could make a male character and sleep with a star, and that still wouldn't be the gayest thing in that game. <laughs> no, but that's. No, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. To just start a new playthrough just for the raid train? I don't know. But I know I know you're just joking, but still. Uh could play a BG3 with a female toad character romance. <laughs> What an idea. Wait, what do you mean? Why, why your character? With only two hours, you wouldn't even get past the character creator. You're underestimating me. Usually that would be the case in, in games like... Uh, Black Desert. But Baldur's Gate 3 does not have that extensive of a character creator. I know that like that is so weird to me, like how people spend so long in character creation in that game because it's not really. I guess it's more about the stats than the the looks that people spend time on, um, because the the customization, like aesthetics, is not really. It's very lacking, unfortunately. <laughs> care to be best <laughs> hold on let me let me do a, a quick shouty outy of a Sarufian as well because I, he he would never shout out himself you know so I have to do that black desert character creator goes hard you can make such a wild array of wet looking people wait did something happen for you guys? Because I didn't see anything. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. I, I just didn't see it, so I'm not sure what ha happened. Uh, lots of happy emojis flooded the screen. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I've never seen any of them in use. Um, Well, I've seen the enlarged emotes in chat. That's what I've seen out of them. But thank you so much for the 40 bits. I appreciate it, Gobi. Uh, Black Desert's character creator goes hard. You can make such a... Yeah, yeah, that, that's... that's. I, I read that as Baldur's Gate. And I was like... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> but it's true. You can do that. <laughs> but it's... It has the best character creator, though. I, like, I, I miss playing BG3. No, well... BDO. So many bees. Um, if you could mold a face and body, it would take 30 hours, but it is a bit limited, That's but that's okay. It's more the fact that like they should have a few sliders, is what I'm thinking, because when, when you end up seeing a lot of NPCs with the same face as your character as well, it's like... Because they've just used the same templates for everyone. It's just the makeup that is a little bit different. I just I just wish that that wasn't the case. Like, I understand people who use mods and stuff. But also, that is also very limited because... Well, maybe not that limited. But I do see a lot of people use the same faces in mods as well. <laughs> but yeah, go follow Sarah. Do it, do it right now. Do it right now. 
He's practicing. He has now started practicing again for his uh, the Dark Souls 3 hitless run as well. Until you get to Code Vein, it will be four streams of creating your best. Wait, what do you mean? Are you guys gonna be playing that together? Is that what you're saying? I uh, wouldn't be too sh so sure Rods will still make. Do Wait, what do you mean, Doctor Baby? <laughs> you think Dark Souls has proven that you cannot trust gamers with sliders? What do you mean? Have you not seen, dude? Have you seen? Uh, I I know what you mean though. It I think it's just because people get tired of making new characters, so so they just like try to make a meme out of it. But I haven't seen it, so I don't I don't understand the reference. <laughs> but yeah, um. In Black Desert, the character creator is so good that the, a lot of people just play it for the character creator because it's so... I don't know, it's... it's very extensive. There are like... I don't know, 30 different places in, in just the face that you can change, which is wild. Um, but I, I like, I find it really fun. I love it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And it's so much easier to make your character unique and make it look like exactly what you want it to look like. You know? Dr. Baby's Rod's abomination of a character, the widest face note. <laughs> Damn, he stole Richard's, uh, Richard's idea, I guess. Um... But yeah, so what we're gonna do today, by the way, we are gonna go like last time we went to Saravok, which is Orin's grandfather, and uh, I guess we're also kind of related to him. Um, <laughs> and he wants us also to 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 kill Orin and then come back to him afterwards to report to him about. Well, not report to him, but like talk to him about it afterwards. Which I take it is probably him saying that. Well, he's probably just trying to, to get us to to come back so that he can fight us. Because now that if we kill Orin, which is the, the Chosen of Baal, I, I imagine that Saravok wants us to come back to him afterwards so that if he beats us, that means that he will be the Chosen. And then he will be the most powerful Baal spawn. Is, my, is what I'm thinking. Because we are playing a Dark Urge uh, character, so that things are a little bit different. I don't know what's gonna happen because I have not played a Dark Urge before. So all of it is new to me. This is just me speculating because I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that we are gonna... When we fight Orin, we're gonna have to duel her. So it's only... I imagine it's only her and my character and no one else. Because she specifically said a duel. So I'm very nervous about that, because I can't rely on anyone else. <laughs> it's only- it's only my- my character's skills and stuff, so the- you know, I'm- I'm a little bit nervous about it- about it. So that's what we're gonna do, uh, maybe today. It depends. We might go and see Orin, or we might go to- Wait. What does my title say? House of House? <laughs> Well, I need to fix that. House of House. <laughs> house of House. <laughs> house of uh, Hope is what I meant to say. <laughs> it's supposed to say House of Hope. Or we can go to the House of Hope or House of Grief. House of Grief is related to Shadowheart's quest. Which will also be very different because she is a DJ Shart in our playthrough. AK, she's a Dark Justice here. Um, so the whole thing happening there will be very different than it was in my first playthrough. Um, House of Hope is also kind of different because we already have the hammer, but we made the deal with Raphael, so we're gonna have to go to House of Hope to get the contract back. We're gonna have to go there to get our contract. 
not to steal the hammer. But I have prepared, I've I've collected so many barrels for the Raphael fight. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. So it's one of those three things that we're gonna start off with. I don't know which one though. If anyone has any preferences, you can let me know. You can let me know. You think your people wide small character in Dark Souls Three was wider? Hmm. <laughs> BDO was a good time, didn't put too much time into it, but the world was a vibe. Dude, BDO is like the the game that I come back to because it feels like home in a way. Even though like I'm not a PvP -er or anything. And when I first started playing it, that was like that was what the game was uh marketed towards, like people who wanted to, to PvP and stuff. But then the PvE and everything was so, so nice. And you can also do a lot of uh, life skilling, like fishing and, and uh, gardening. Well, farming and stuff, I guess. Um, well, gardening. Uh, <laughs> and cooking and, and horse training and all that sort of stuff. And I find that more enjoyable, personally. Um, and it just makes the whole... game so nice to come back to to just chill and stuff i don't i don't know I, I just i love the world and also sailing i have my own ship that i i do bartering with and stuff so i i'm i'm kind of itching to get back to boy to i'm i was about to say ball to get three again <laughs> uh bdo again as well house of house yeah mm. She wanted a 1v1, what a gamer. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Back to Blood Blasphemous <laughs> Suck. Dude, that is also a game that I've been considering playing because I think Blasphemous 2 is on sale right now. Or maybe it, it's not on sale anymore, but it was. Uh, and I still need to play the second game as well. Welcome to the House of House. <laughs> no, okay. I don't. What, what is that song? I don't. I don't know the song. Uh, you couldn't get into BDO. There was this really annoying sprite thing that you think was a tutorial, dude, and but he annoyed the shit out of you and made you irrationally angry. Hmm. Yeah, the black spirit. Yeah, I mean. I guess he can be a little bit annoying. I, I think after you've done it once, you kind of just skip through everything. Um, I didn't really think about it as annoying or not, but the thing is, Bl uh, Black Desert has a really steep learning curve. Uh, it it has a lot of things you need to to um, like look uh, look up and stuff, and and I guess watch some tutorial. Tutorial videos and stuff. Me, I was, I was, that was around the time when I was um, in a relationship, though, and he was the one who got me into the game, so I didn't have to look up everything, which was really nice. I could just, I could just like he won, he liked watching YouTube videos. I hated it. I don't like watching tutorials and stuff. So I was just, I just got him to tell me everything that I needed to know, and then I, I just learned as I went. But it really has a, a, a steep learning curve, so I know that a lot of people end up giving up really fast because there's a lot, there's a lot, and it's it's very overwhelming at, at the beginning. Uh, the ordinary ordinary life stuff was what you wanted to do, but never got to it. Mm. I highly recommend it, and also like. I'm not the type of person who listens to my own music while I play games anyway, but even in like with Black Desert, I also just love being there to listen to like the background sounds and music and stuff. It's it's kind of comforting to me in a way. I don't know. How do you yearning for the feels like children yearn for the nights? <laughs> Uh, 
has a fun by Madness or British Rock. Mm, I'm I'm terrible with names though. Maybe I have heard it, but I'm just I just don't know what it is based on the name. <laughs> For the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, watch Tor Torturula. Wait, I have no idea who that is. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, do any of you have, like, for those who have played the game before and, and like, done this before, do you have any preference? Do you have any preference? Because I don't. Like, I, I don't know if we should do stuff related to Orin or if we're going to go to House of Hope or House of Grief. So those are, like, the, the options today. But I wanted to go and see Orin because I kind of miss having Gale in my party and uh, she kidnapped him. So I. Otherwise, I would wait. Um, in my first playthrough, she kidnapped Halson, and I, I I was in no rush because like I I don't I don't like, Halson is is just a a small character that doesn't really do much in in the overall plot or the. Like, he doesn't have his own quest or anything, so I don't really feel it. I didn't feel any rush. And I didn't have him in my party either, so. But with Gale, it's a little bit different. You'd vote for Orin? Hmm. Yeah. Because I figured, you know, it's... It's probably gonna be okay to do... All of the other stuff afterwards, even though like that is the last out of the. Orin is technically the last thing we have to do before we go to the final boss. Um, but I think it doesn't really matter if we do that first or if we go. Like I can still go to House of Hope and House of Grief afterwards. And because we have already killed Gortash. In my first playthrough, I did it the opposite uh, way. I went to Orin first and then Gortash afterwards. Saved him for last. Um, we can go and see Orin though. Damn. Yeah, she. The, um, so, what we learned as Dark Urge, which means we are a ball spawn, uh, we are apparently Orin's um, sister. So we need to duel her for like the 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 spot as balls chosen. Lauren, Lauren. <laughs> I did. I didn't put two and two together until Sarah said that. <laughs> I should have known with the with the 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 emote though. I just didn't. Dark Urge Run is the true Baldur's Gate sequel. Hmm. I know that I I don't think that I can go back to a regular uh, tab playthrough after playing the Dark Urge because it's just it's just it's the same as tab but it's with extra content kind of it's like it's like you can't go back to watching the re uh, regular Lord of the Rings movies after you watch the extended version. It's like, now you have to always watch the extended versions. Because otherwise you feel like you're missing out on stuff. Before you say anything, Sarah, we don't need any jokes about Lord of the Rings, okay? <laughs> I, I just know that he's itching to, to say something about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just opening the game now. I'm just opening the game now. I'm wondering when I'm gonna get my deluxe edition of the game. And the 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 records, because I also ordered those. Uh how rude wasn't even thinking about it? Hmm, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. Um <laughs> Um, gotta do the old work. Lurk, be right, be right, Burk. Mm. I appreciate the Burk, uh, Lurk, I mean, work, Lurk, uh, Gobi. Seribot is really fast. <laughs> okay, 
Let's pause the music. Uh... Love Saribot, me too. Me too. Oh yeah, no, shit, that's, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do first. Before we go to Orin, we're gonna go to Lady Jen's house, because we didn't, we, that's, that's where we stopped last, I, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> I have not done this quest, and I've heard that it's a pain in the ass. I don't tell me, though, because I, like, I haven't seen anything, I've just heard that people absolutely hate this quest. Um, but I didn't do that on my first playthrough, because I didn't save, um, Oscar. In my first playthrough, like I didn't, I didn't find him in Act One. So I, the first time I found him was when I got to Baldur's Gate, and then he was in the, um, uh, in the guild, like where Nine Fingers is. That's that's where I found him, and he gave me a painting. Um, but I didn't get any quests or anything because I just I just found him there. <laughs> Twitch should let Sari keep the bot and do its thing, but pay them a monthly salary for the work they're doing. Honestly, yeah. Can't give up that now. is very true. They should do that. At the ready. But will they? I, I highly doubt it, but you know, they should. Yeah, so we just ended after uh, doing a long rest. Doing a much better job than Twitch. Honestly, yes. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Check up on Lady Janeth. That is the objective uh, at first here. Yeah, I never got this quest at all. So I've, I've never I've never done this. Oh. Oh. This this is, um <laughs> This is very different than when I was here. Um, in my first playthrough, it was it was light, like it was bright, and there were people. She was holding like a. Oh. <laughs> she had like an art gallery or something going here. What the fuck? Maybe I should uh, summon things. I don't know. I feel like I should. <laughs> this seems very ominous. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should be prepared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. Nothing hurts anymore. I have such a headache. Yeah, the the game takes a little while after you summon the ghouls. Knocking. Whatever comes. Oh yeah, she I'm also ready. can summon stuff. Dude, I found something really, really good. Like she has this uh, necklace on that gives her a spell slot restoration. So if I use a level six spell, I can just use this and give her another level six spell, and it's just, it's just so good. We we summoned the Deva last time. I think we're gonna try to summon the Jin. Uh, yeah, I started having uh, Shadowheart in my party again last time because um, I don't I don't actually know why. I just felt like I should. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, she also needs this one. Because I told myself that I wouldn't have her in my party as much for this playthrough because 
she was like a staple in my first one. So I, I wanted to switch switch it up a little bit. So I've mainly had Minthara instead. Okay, so she's gonna use aid. I think three is enough. And then Heroes Feast. See, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Not as bad as it could have. Free the artist. What does the. Holy crap! What? What just happened? The Janeth estate is clearly clearly haunted. We should find what's causing this. I I don't even know what happened. I guess we should just dash. Because there's not really any combat that we're gonna do. Don't touch me. Step quick. Oh no. He can do an extra dash. Oh. Okay, so I was on the... Wait. They're both here. Okay. Okay, so I was on the right path. I was like... Because I just remembered from my first playthrough that this is where she, she was. Why is this one specifically very ominous looking? <laughs> Yeah, she was, um, she was just outside here, so I was like, you know, should probably find the staircase. Oscar, if you're still in there, listen to my voice. This is not you. Please let me help you. All I hear is the grunting of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He Damn. does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. Okay. Um. <laughs> so this explains why this didn't happen in my first playthrough, because he never went here, so I guess she was safe. At least they are not in, in turn-based now. Well, I guess they are now. Uh, hmm. What? How can they be in combat all the way down here? Okay, let's uh, examine it. So bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing is the best bet then. Affected entity is incorporeal and can be shoved, thrown, or used as an improvised weapon. Uh, opportunity attacks against you have disadvantage. By nature, this creature can only be seen through magical means. 
Oh, wait. So we can. He's the only one who can see them. Like there are probably more, but he can see them because he has the the eye. Okay, so it was a good call that I let him go up here then. This creature is immune to falling damage. Automatically attack an enemy moving out of your reach. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. The sounds, though. <laughs> you hate going around someone's house and getting dragged into a spectral dust. <laughs> right? Uh. Okay. Don't linger. Um. Okay, so he's a little bit too far away from that right now. But I'm sure that he can probably... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, two star. Wait, who did this? Hmm. Well, I guess he can, he can, honestly, he can just... use Misty Step down here. Because that will help me, like, help the others see the ones that are around here as well. Yeah, weren't there two here? But then he just lost track of one of them. Hey, two stuff? Something happened, but I didn't see it. Okay, so I I should probably have like you see invisibility or something. Um I just don't want them to attack. Uh, oh, there's one here. See, you can <laughs> you can see there's one right here. Unless it's just the the no, it's probably just the chest. I never mind. But that's a good way to see if anything is invisible sometimes too. Hmm. I'm gonna keep him at a distance. In case I need him. How the fuck did you take damage? Well, I guess you can't really move. Hmm. He's possessed, I see. Wait, who is flying? Oh. Yeah, I can't see shit. Okay, let, let me use... Um... Potion of Invisibility? I only have one, though, but... I feel like it would be worth... Wait. No. I thought it was see invisibility, not... turn invisible. <laughs> but it's right here, though. It's right in front of me. 
You see? It wouldn't curve around like that if, if it wasn't right in front of me. What if I just use Cloud of Daggers in front of the door? Hmm. Or I can use Thunder Wave and, uh... Oh, there were two. Nice, okay. Let me use... Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I really thought that I... I really wish that I could see anything, really. <laughs> there was one here before, but I don't know if they've moved. I don't know. Okay, they have not moved. There's a 88%. No. <laughs> oh, that's too much. That is too much. Damn. No, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to wait with that one. What you should do is you're going to attack this one. Oh. That was pretty good. I think I'm going to use the spiritual weapon. I should probably get back to Hollow Knight and practice then. But honestly, yes. <laughs> honestly, yes. I was so close. Are you in danger? Mm. You hanging out with the boys? But that's tomorrow. Isn't it? Can't afford to let up. Also, we're getting an ad starting very soon. She's going to jump up here because that's better. I'm just going to wait until the odds are over. But yeah, are you guys going to be playing Code Vein after uh, Dark Souls 2? Uh, it's tomorrow, but that's what you're doing instead of Hollow Knight for a while. Hmm. Hmm. Who says you can't do both? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's just once a week. <laughs> Don't be offended. You opted to play the worst Souls game instead. Of <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not offended. I'm just like, 
But that's just, as Sarah said, it's just one day each week. <laughs> Guess Laura requires some attention every now and then. I guess, I guess that's, that's fair. Yeah, because most of the time uh, he dedicates to Elden Ring, so I guess, I guess that there's not a lot of time left for Lauren. So, I, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Your time to stream is very limited, unfortunately, else you'd stream every day. Mm. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Damn, it's it's really lucky though that you can you can work and and well play games while you're at work then. Because imagine not being able to play games at all. You think that was talk of Code Vein? Mm. Yeah, I still- I haven't played that. I only watched a couple of people play it, but I didn't watch, like, all the way through. I don't... I'm not even sure if I remember who was playing it. It's so good. Love your job for many reasons, but that's pretty top tier one. Mm. Well, that- that is very fortunate, though, because... I don't think there's a lot of uh, a lot of jobs you can you can have where you can spend time playing games. I mean, obviously you're doing your job too. I'm not saying that you're only playing games, but that there's time for that as as well in between, you know. Lacerate? Should I do that? I should do that. I should do that. No, cleave is what I meant. I meant cleave. We're back from the ads. Nice. Again. It really sucks though. There's like... You know, I'm gonna do that. And then I can do... S sweeping attack, because that should be enough. Should be enough. Hmm... I still have more moves, but I can't use them because I don't see anything. Oh well. Ah. Uh, I don't want to use that, but... <laughs> Feels like such a waste. I guess. Wait, that was all? You kidding me? Can't have been all. I thought there would be more. The path lies before me. Hmm. Now, not that I'm ungrateful for your help, but wait, your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before in Oscar's sketches. You're the one who saved him from the Zentarim. It's true. Um, you choose of jubilation beating your rune level one run whilst your boss was on his morning meeting. 
That is pretty cool, though. What in the hell is going on here? And you must be his patron? Oh, Petru, my most heroic side. <laughs> You're remarkably calm, given your husband just tried to kill us. I did, and I've come to collect the reward. I mean, I'm gonna say four. I'm getting rather used to it, unfortunately. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought, but it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. Hmm. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. Hmm. Dinner time back in a while. Enjoy your food. I hope you have good foods. Um that much is obvious. <laughs> I had no idea he had married, then I take it you were his patron. Uh, it doesn't seem personal. He tried to kill me, too. You sure he hasn't been, you know, sniffing his paints? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, can, I kind of have to say this now. <laughs> he almost broke my arm this morning when I tried to feed him soup. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. I must? Hmm. Where should I start? He needs a doctor, not an adventurer. He's too dangerous, and merciful death is the best I can offer. I mean, he needs to- I mean, I'm gonna say- we'll see what she says to that, if I say that first. I don't know if a doctor is what is needed here, but I'm gonna see it anyway. I can't tell anyone about this. It was hard enough to keep it from the servants. I need someone to look into this quietly. It's the only chance he has. Hmm. Sure. Uh, where should I start? Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became withdrawn, working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Oh. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't want anyone going up there. I swear it's in the walls watching wait a minute oh i just put two and two together is this like kind of like in his name is oscar is this is this kind of like a uh, jesus christ why did i forget the name obviously i remember the name oscar wilde that but i don't remember the name of the um, dorian gray is this kind of like a dorian gray situation Because he also had uh, his painting in the attic. I'll take that. I mean, it didn't count as stealing. <laughs> I mean, his name is Oscar. It just it just makes sense. <laughs> It would be too obvious if his name was Dorian, you know? <laughs> of course. Of course there were more uh, ghosts. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate because he... Well, he can... Can he jump over? He can. Somehow. Well, it's not for the necromantic, uh... I 
I'm not sure that's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Of course, my character is in the way, so, you know. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I should use dash. walk through the, <laughs> uh, the wall. Why, why is my character in the way? That's so annoying. I mean, sure, I can jump, but it's just... That sound. Wow. What? <laughs> that's interesting. No, that's not what I should do. Wait, what is this? Cursed skull. Hmm. You know what I should do, though? Because, uh, Insect Plague actually works over several levels. Obviously, I don't know how many ghost ghosts there are here, but... Let's see. Oh. This should be good enough. We'll see. Funny if I could bite the the ghost. Oh, I oh, I moved right past this one. See, this is so nice that it just works over several levels, you know. with these nearby creatures will be affected with phantasmal force oh oh I see I see can you <laughs> oh it was worth a shot I, that's why they're like glowing like that I didn't think about that I need to get better at like invest like examining things. <clears throat> Again. 
again. Why do they always have like one health left? It's so These look the same as... Holy crap. As the... Um, the nurses... In Act 2. Interesting. I was kind of tempted to just get rid of the, the Conalabra, but... Time to move. Marty, how you doing? You're back! Welcome back! <laughs> how was your trip? How was your, your, your trip? Hope you had a good one. Wait. Poison? How does poison work on this? Let's see. No, no, it does not. I can use that though. Wait, hold on. Yes. you too well i mean i can only speak for myself but i, I missed you at least <laughs> super intense but great left two weeks but felt like it was uh, you were away for a month mm. but if you had a good time that's a good thing right that it felt like <laughs> it was that long hmm Come on, dude, you can't move through the wall. Why are you doing this? Okay, I'm gonna use um, this. Oh, shit, that doesn't work. Need to heal anyone yet? Oh, that's so rude. Leave me alone. Seems so stupid, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that, but <sighs> they have so little health. Try that instead. I mean, 
mean, I hope that is enough. Now, let's go with the two level two one, just in case. Yeah. That's good. And now they will leave me alone because they can't see me. They all targeted me. Mm, you saw friends and family and your partner's family as well, so you travel a lot through friends. Oh, wait, I didn't... Oh, I thought... I, I don't know why, but I guess I kind of just assumed that your partner was from, from Canada or something. But that's good, though, that you're both um, from the same place, so you it would be easier to move and stuff. Um... We had such bad luck with transportation, though, from plane to trains. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that's not- that's not fun. But you're both French. I see, I see. Time to strike. I'm just gonna... Get rid of these. Oh, that didn't work. No, because it's it's force damage and radiance and bludgeoning, um, I guess. On the move. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't have anything she can use on on that. Um. I don't think. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have not looked at these properly. Um. Let's see. I just, I just wanted to to teleport her to anywhere that I could see. Bearded orange. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, those skulls were such a pain in the butt on your playthroughs. I've never done this before. Um, I I never got to save um, Oscar. Well, I didn't meet him in, in Act One in my first playthrough, so this is the first time I'm doing this. Um, I'm just gonna have uh, Shadowheart go and and kill the the one over here. stuck here. Well, n well, he can use magic missile because that does force damage, so never mind. Um, two should be enough, right? I hope. Tormented. Wait, what? But it says... It does force damage. What? Well, stop lying to me. Uh, you think you just had Carlag like, whack them with a mace? Mm. Medium toughness must be above a certain amount of damage to even do any. Mm. That's really annoying, though. 
Let's see. Yeah, he can't do anything here. What if... Will he be able to move up here? Uh, even if I use dash? I don't know. From Google, medium toughness must deal 22 more damage to deal any damage? That is insane. That is actually insane. <laughs> Um, I know I was going to dash. I don't know if he can move past her, though. Wait, really? That's all? Oh. Haunted approach, I see. Got a shower? Do 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 the shower. Be safe. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just try it out. See if it's enough. No. It is enough. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna get rid of this one too. No, I can't. Well, maybe I can. Oh, there's one here too. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, that's good to know. She can she can uh, get rid of the um, the skulls then. Where do I go from here? What path lies before me? Hmm. I mean, my staff does bludgeoning damage, but not a lot of damage, though. <laughs> so I, I, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, I didn't think that would work, but you know, I wanted to see. I'm just gonna stand here. I did not see this one. <laughs> Make sure you wash your butt. <laughs> uh. Yeah, gotta make you gotta make Chris proud. Unfortunate thing is that she can't see anything. My path be true. Mm. Let's see.
Is that a... No, it's an action. Well, I mean... Maybe I should use dash first, then. Or, never mind. Visibility, and I'm gonna see who has it. The dance macabre. Okay, he doesn't need it. My faith will protect me. No choice but to keep going. Swift and lethal. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. It's an action. I disagree, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess my... My character can have use of that. You reckon you will check out the stu uh, studio's other games now? Baldur's Gate has... <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I mean... I'm not sure... Excuse me? I'm not sure if you mean, like... Do you mean the older games or new games? Because if it's the newer games that they are going to release. Because they have two other games planned. Um... I will definitely do that. Jesus Christ. Um. I'm not sure if I'm gonna... Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna play any of the older games though. What do you mean, can't reach destination? You're literally right next to it. slashing damage. He was just yeeted off here. There's a ghost here. You can see. Why are you going down there? What? Are you good? I'm glad. I am glad. Okay, so I am gonna use dash first. Because I need her to um, move up here. How the fuck did I end up all the way down here? Hmm. 
I guess my magic can't really do much here, so might as well go change my, my form. Into the Slayer. Stop attacking this, it's useless. Attack this one instead. Yeah, she's gonna use this one now. Dude, there's literally a ghost right in front of you. At least there should be. It does it. Immune to bludgeoning damage? What do you mean? I mean, I know it had medium toughness, but I mean... That doesn't mean that you should be immune. That's stupid. Hey, FK, how you doing? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. The skulls are vulnerable to fire too. You think you might be able to hurt them with a good firebolt from Shadowheart or Starion? Maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, also, like, I, I'm not really... That, that's my bad, but... I'm not really looking for any any tips, really, unless I ask. Um, but yeah, I should I should usually I try to pin this uh, this message uh, at the top. Um, no, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. It's all good. Um, I hate those things. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um, Jesus Christ, who who got something? I don't know. Be quick. <laughs> oh, I I I completely forgot about her. But he doesn't need to be in this form right now. It was only to... to... <laughs> I actually don't remember why I turned him into mist, uh, if I'm being honest. I do think there was another ghost here, though. Let's just use Dash. Hmm. I guess not. Uh, saw that I had some migraines lately. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I, I, it was just on f Thursday and Friday, I think it was. The slave form looks so awesome. It does. It does. When that happened, I was like, <laughs> my reaction. I, I like. I, obviously, I'd seen it before, because I had seen Orin, but 
I didn't know that I would turn into that. Um, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Let's see. I just want to see what's up here. Uh, let's see. It doesn't say anything about Thunder Wave, though. I can try, just see what happens. Yeah, didn't do anything. Worth a shot, though. Uh, he will be missed. <laughs> How many quests and um so out of the the bigger ones i only have like i have house of hope house of grief um and i need to go and see Orin. other than that i feel i think I mean, it's the stuff with Gale, but I, I, he is the one who has been kidnapped by, by Orin, so I can't do anything with him before I, I pick him up. <laughs> if I can do that, I mean, I, I, I won't let him die, but Jesus Christ! How the fuck did that even happen? Because he, he is supposed to be able to see them. That did so little. I don't know what is doing the haunted approach there because I can't even see any skulls nearby. I got rid of this one. House of Hope and Grief are so fun. Yeah, yeah, they're fun. <laughs> no, I, I've I've just never done it on Tactician, so I'm 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 not sure how it's gonna go. But I'm um. I, well, I mean, I actually did it on my first try, both of them, uh, in my first playthrough. But that was on balance, though. So it wasn't it wasn't a struggle in that sense, but it was just. Things that have been easy on balanced have been challenging on tacticians. <laughs> I'm not gonna assume that it's gonna be any different now, you know? Yeah, see? She she can take care of it. I don't think it works on... No, it doesn't work on the other levels, though. Hmm. I mean, she can heal him a little bit. Uh, the final fight in House of Hope floored you when he started singing his own song. Epic fight. Honestly, felt more epic than the final fight. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I felt that way about Ketherick's fight, too. Uh, I got myself spoiled with the song, though, because I had listened to the soundtrack beforehand, so I had, like... I deliberately tried to not listen to it. Like, I always skipped it because, like, oh, this feels like a, a spoiler. But then it's like, the, the surprise was already kind of ruined, so I didn't... I didn't, um... I didn't really get that wow moment a lot of people do. <laughs> uh, hey, Salsa! Who's that grubby dino thing? Wait. What do you mean? What do you mean grubby dino thing? You mean me? 
This one? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's a me. Um What should no. Yeah, she's just gonna move up here, I think. In case there are some ghosts here that she can kill. Um what am I playing as? I'm playing as the, the Dark Urge, so... Yeah, you get- it's the same form as Orin gets. Um... Yeah, I think she can just... chill here for a bit um that's what my yeah it, it it's it's so cool it is so cool but i am playing as an evil character though you have to do some some evil stuff to get this form to get your gym jams as they they say <laughs> um so i'm it's gonna be interesting in a, in a second uh, well, in, in my next playthrough, which is going to be an honor mode run. It's going to be an honor mode run uh, with a resist dirge instead. And then I'm going to try to attempt to just resist the dark urge in any way that I can. But I've done the opposite here. I've done the exact opposite here. Um... Hey, Richard, how you doing? <laughs> but yeah, go check out Salsa, aka Goddess of Kitties, if you haven't already. And also, Richard, he's he's playing uh, Stardew Valley for the first time. Also, wait, can we get, get a shout out for AFK hey as well? Um, It's funny because I thought that I knew you from Owl. But then I also saw that you actually know Dave as well. And that is like a completely different side of Twitch. Um, <laughs> so I was like, wait. Now I'm like, who did I actually see you? Uh, like, where did I see you first? I don't know. I don't know now. <laughs> Dave as well. Embrace the dirge, yeah. I'm gonna do honor mode playthrough. Or did I already do that? No, I'm. This is my first time playing on tactician, so I'm. I'm just. This is kind of like practice before I do honor mode, um, because I figured also like this would be a good way to practice uh, honor mode because I'm seeing as it's an evil playthrough, it's gonna make all the fights more difficult as well. Because you have fewer allies and you have fewer companions. Um, so, Kethrick was a pain in the ass because I did not have Aelin. Um, <laughs> that was that was rough. Um, so, I already know that honor mode is going to be easier in a lot of ways. Simply because I'm going to be... A, a, well, not evil. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna do that uh, at some point. I'm not gonna do it right after I'm done with this playthrough, though. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and play some other games. I'm gonna go back to Elden Ring for a bit, too. Um, but like, a, start a new playthrough. I'm not gonna start right on the DLC. Um, so... I'm gonna pair Elden Ring with something else as well. And we'll see. We'll see how soon I'm gonna go to uh, honor mode because I just I just feel like people are kind of bored with me playing this game now. <laughs> so like I I kind of need to to switch it up a little bit, play something else because I don't I don't want people to get bored of my streams because I'm playing the same thing over and over again. It would be different if that was like what I did, that that was my stream. I, like, I was a pure Baldur's Gate 3 streamer, you know? Um, which I'm not, but I would I would like to be. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not sure if I would like to be that. I, I like to be able to 
um, play different things, but... Aren't I? No, it's just been mainly what I've been playing for the last six months or so, but... You... I, I understand how the confusion... <laughs> Um, the first playthrough of Romance Karlak, when you did dirge and had to kill her in camp, you were so sad. Wait, what do you mean? Why did you have to? I have not killed Karlak. But in camp? You had to kill her in camp? What I did was, I deliberately tried to not go and find her until after the Grove stuff. So I went to see her after I had killed the grove, and then hopefully she wouldn't know about it, and then she could be a part of my 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 team. But she had somehow found out about it and was really mad at me. She let me go. So I didn't fight her at all, but I I felt really bad. <laughs> I felt really bad. No, you, you don't have to do that, Sarah. There are different ways to do it. But you can't have her in your... You, you can play Resist Dirge, though, and have Karlak. But you can't play an Evil Dirge and have Karlak. <laughs> she attacked you in camp after murdering the druids? Really? But that's because you had already recruited her, right? You didn't know that would happen, pretty much told you you were a piece of shit and attacked you. Oh, damn. But that that must have been because you, you had already uh, found her before then. Because that definitely didn't happen with me. Wait, what am I trying to do now? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Should I just... I can use Misty Step just to see. I think the perception failed with the door here. Mm, you already had her in your camp, but not in your party. When you did a long rest, she confronted you. Mm. Yeah, it's probably because because of that then. I deliberately didn't do that because I, I, I had a feeling that she wouldn't approve. <laughs> I didn't know that she would attack you, but I did think that maybe she would just leave, like what Will did. Um, so I... Well, let's try your theory, though, with uh, the firebolt. Yeah, no, that didn't work. No, no, I, that's not what I meant. God damn it, I used a bonus action on accident. Over here. I didn't mean to. Well, you can still. No, wait. Never mind. Uh, that's why Carlac is so wonderful. You kill a bunch of innocents. She's not gonna like you very much. She's not like. Stop it! The thing is, that's that's interesting with the Starion though, because you can you can choose different play styles you can be good and or bad which i i like that you can you can you can do that with most of them it's mo it's mo mostly just carlack and will i think and probably halson <laughs> um Everyone else is kind of neutral and can go e either way. Um, I don't know why I have him here now, but I'm just, you know, might as well. <laughs> In the first playthrough, if Carlac disappeared of something, you reloaded your save. <laughs> Your wife brought you a t-shirt that says Carlac approves. That's that's amazing. You have two Carlac t-shirts. One that says you want I want mommy. Oh no. Jesus Christ. I 
kind of just want it to be Shadowheart's turn now, so that she can get rid of all of them. With her uh, Spirit Guardians. But yeah, I, I, I'm nervous about going to Orin, I won't lie, because I don't know how that's going to go. All I know is that there's going to be a duel, <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know anything else, and I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> See, she can just take care of all of them. You can also heal. Oh, wait. I didn't see you. <laughs> I just walked past. I didn't see. Oh. Wait, that's all? Wait, no, 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 go up, go up, no, stop it. That was all of it. That took a while, though, but... Shadowheart? Jesus Christ. Let's try this way. Well, that was interesting. That easel's crying out for something to be placed on it. Hmm. I see. Well, we're gonna we're gonna dismiss the slayer for now. Do I bought you one of those ninety style shirt? Yeah. I, <laughs> I I you wore that on your your last stream. Right? I think we're gonna do a short rest. Oh, welcome rest. Let's see what happens. I should save though. Also, we're getting an ad starting very soon. Any second now. And I'm probably gonna take a short break when that happens because I haven't taken one yet. Just while the ads are running. And, um, yeah. There's gonna be some clips, maybe, possibly, uh, that could be spoilery for my first playthrough at least. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. Hold on. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, we're back. I'm sorry, I, I forgot that I didn't have um, the clips enabled during the BRB screen. I turned it off for when I was playing uh, Animal Well. <laughs> because there are a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 spoilers in there. Um, so... Oh, uh... uh <laughs> hello again! <laughs> hello again! Um, welcome back. Hey, bearded turtle! Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, you were playing D&D, so couldn't type during the match. What was I playing uh, as for that fight? Wait, this one? I was uh, the Slayer. I was the Slayer. Because I'm a Dark Urge, so I'm a Ball Spawn. So I can turn into... I can get the Slayer form. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Okay. Well, I imagine it's gonna be like a canvas or something or a painting of some sort. What? Who said that? Die here. You want to. I'm not sure if I do. Goblin, that's a new one. Look at me. Aren't I beautiful? I'm taking I take it that we're supposed to place that here? Well. Can we do that? We can. Oh shit. Well, I mean, I was right. <laughs> ah, damn it. God damn it. It's so typical. Oh, he can he can use the bow there. That was easy. <laughs> uh, are you telling me to burn uh, has taken its toll. Lady Janet? I should rest. Oh, you never seen that before? That's cool. It is really cool. It is really cool. Yeah, you have to do some evil stuff though to do it to get it, but that's kind of what we're doing here. We're doing an evil playthrough. Hmm. I guess it was wrong then. Oh, she's jealous. I see. I see. There's more to this art and meets the eye. Hmm. Wait, didn't he talk about... Yeah, I think I remember him talking about it, that he was, um...
he was betrothed to one, but he loved another instead. I'm guessing it was her, but she's dead. And she's the one who is possessing him. Out of jealousy, maybe? The portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. So why is the woman smiling? Hmm. Good question. Letter to Oscar Fervis. Let's see. Thank you for the lurk, Marty. I appreciate it. Expecto Patronum and it's GG's. <laughs> Have you played this game? Have you played Baldur's Gate, Beater Turtle? This parchment is old, flaky, and smells faintly of two musk. Dearest Miss... Miss... I don't, I don't, I've never seen this, um, uh, before. <laughs> uh, I so appreciate the desperation of your correspondence. Heartbreak can impose such a terrible burden. In my humble role as an inter interlocutor with the spirit realm, I believe I might be able to offer you some reprieve. Bring this letter to my mansion near the seafront, and together we will see if the dead have peace to offer you. Oh. Yours in spirit, Mystic Carrion. Well, I've killed him already, so. P.S. The door is regrettably stubborn, so you must speak its preferred words. Secreta Mortuorum. P.P.S. I may even consider discounted rates. If you're willing to recommend my services to Lady Janeth's well-coined kinfolk. Well, yeah, he's kind of dead, so we can't do anything about that right now. <laughs> Let's see what the... Um... Okay, I haven't read all of these. Uh, we found the atelier, the... There must be something in here that will point us towards the source of Oscar's possession. We discovered a secret room. We found a letter from a mystic Carrion addressed to Oscar. It says to bring the letter to Carrion's mansion and provide a password that will grant entry. We should pay him a visit and ask him about Oscar. We found a stash of client information. Maybe it will contain clues about how to exercise the spirit possessing Oscar. We found Oscar in a, on a list of Mr. Carrion's clients. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. It revealed that a torch of revocation can use, be used to destroy the cursed portrait. We need to find one. I do have that. I'm not sure, is it? Uh, is she the one who has it, or is it Minthara? I did think it was weird. Close. Uh, a star in had it for a while, I think. Indolence breeds madness. A long way to go still. Yeah, I think maybe Minthara has it. We need to go to camp real quick. I think she has it? Or maybe I just didn't see it. What did I send it to? Hmm. How many died today? Wait, am I the one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because I think it's considered equipment because you can use it as a weapon. Wait, what was it called again? Torch of Revocation. Someone there. Oh, enough 
enough waiting. I crave blood. Wait, okay, she has it. <laughs> so I was right. Shadowheart did have it. Okay. Let's see. I kind of want my character to do it, though. Wait. We got our hands on the torch of revocation. We should use it to destroy the cursed portrait in the Janeth estate. Exorcism. I guess we did it. Oh, damn. We successfully destroyed the. Oscar. Where is he? Where is he? Uh. I was trying to read? <laughs> We successfully destroyed the cursed portrait, forcing the spirit out. She went looking for Oscar. We should follow her. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we should probably do that. I should also probably save. Hmm. Let's see. He was knocked out before, so I don't think he's moved. Oh. Okay. Let us talk to him. I should speak up. My darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Um, home as in, aren't you dead? I rather like interfering. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> I mean, it's that's not that's not wrong. Um, but yeah, sure, we can resolve this peacefully, I guess. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me. Pathetic little childish boy. I only wished to explain myself to make you see how... No! Enough of your whining. Enough! Selfish, arrogant bastard of an artist. I wanted to be left in peace. Hmm. Mr. Karen was the one behind this. It wasn't Oscar's fault. I mean, I would assume so. I, I actually don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I read the letter, but I'm not sure. Um... Because he was the one who went to Mr. Carrion anyway. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe I should just save and see what happens. I'm here because Oscar wanted me here. To make him feel better. Oh, my sweet Carrion. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal plane. Mm, the carry Oscar spoke of was kind and gentle. This isn't the real you. Mm, the, uh, ah, I don't know. I mean, intimidation is kind of my thing. 
and it does give me quite a lot of advantages here. Maybe I should just go with that, even though, like, uh, yeah, I also need to remember, like, I don't really care about him. So it's not like... But he hasn't... Okay, let's let's just say, he hasn't paid me yet, okay? <laughs> I need him to pay up before he, before he, um... Before he dies, you know? That that's my my excuse for going with this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a not twenty as well. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Kerry, my sweet meat. Sweet meat? <laughs> I, I just need to know that what you did. That it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be! The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost, dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Hmm. Oh. Should I go with deception? Because that's kind of what I'm... That's kind of what I want to see. I don't know. Let's try to go with deception. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth, he can have it. We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad. All the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him. And one where they have their own bloody problems. Hmm. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I I was truly not to blame. No. You weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Hmm. Damn. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, Jaunty. How you doing? Thank you. Wait, what is so big? Wait, what do you mean? You've heard that? <laughs> I hope you're doing well, though, Jaunty. The emote of the old grandpa, or is that just on your screen? It's, it's small here. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see it any bigger than what it's supposed to be, I think. It feels your entire chat? Really? That's strange. Hmm. What will you do now? That's it? You're just going to forgive him? At least you'll have a great story to tell the grandchildren. <laughs> What a touch hearing your reunion. What about uh, now about my payments? I mean, honestly, you know, I kind of want to. I kind of want to say too. You're just going to forgive him because that's. I'm no fool. I know Oscar loved another when we met, but when we made our vows, I meant them. 
Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Um... Excuse me, I saved you and I need paying for it. Honestly, you know. <laughs> I I kind of dislike him now. I don't I I I I mean, I wasn't a fan before. I actually really didn't like him before either, but this did not help his case at all. So, you know what? Yeah. He do you know his audacity when I when I helped him out in act 1? And he dared ask me for money and when i refused he revealed that oh i had to go uh, all the way to baldur's gate sober then so he was just gonna use the money on booze yeah but of course i'm a man of my word and the word was compensation indeed come upstairs to my atelier I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Oh, is he gonna paint me? I'm not French nor his though. Just just saying. How you doing? Welcome back. Am I just going to talk to him? Here she is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, <laughs> shall we begin? What? Um, there's something wrong with what I'm wearing? No, no, no. Of course not. As an artist, I want to capture your true essence in this portrait. Bloodstains and all. Oh, of course, if you do want to freshen up first, I'm more than happy to wait. After all, it will be seen by generations to come. Um... How about you just make sure I look good? <laughs> Nothing could be simpler. Let's begin, shall we? Oh no, I kinda... And voila! <sighs> all it needs now is a name. Something to capture the spirit in which it was created uh but i wanted i wanted the blood stains though <laughs> um you watch a french film about a shark today called under paris on netflix it had everything you want in a shark film six <laughs> Paris is a landlocked. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it isn't. Not actually. Download to Netflix. <laughs> All good, but you haven't been around much to catch stream. Oh, but that's okay. I hope you've been good, though. Like, I mean, I hope you've been... Yeah, I hope you've been good. How have I been? I've been, I've been, I've been okay. G getting, getting better and better. They're probably all Americans with the geography knowledge of Americans. <laughs> you were expecting it to be very Amer American, however, it was actually French with English dubs. English dubs. Hmm. <laughs> Maxi. I mean, you know. <laughs> Merrick. Uh, well, it maybe was America. 
America. Brits in France, magic. <laughs> Merrick bo bo Boke Poo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you going to London? Can't wait to see the Eiffel Tower. Mm. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Uh, let's not overcomplicate things. Portrait of an Adventure is fine. The Mighty Defender of the Arts. The Ghost Whisperer. <laughs> I'd rather my name weren't on it, to be quite honest. Call it whatever you want, I'm only going to sell it. Mm. I'm not sure if I should say that, though. Um, The Ghost Whisper. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna go with the Ghost Whisper. Perhaps not the thing you'll be remembered for, but a fine quality, nonetheless. Adds a certain mystique, I think. Please... Take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. Wait, what did he say? I think it's rather a good likeness, warts and all. Wait, what do you mean? Are you insulting me? Dude, can I not look at it? Can I not look at the 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 God damn it. I want to see the painting. Oh, and how fetching a face. Flawed, flawless, elegant, hideous, pained, pleasurable. It seems to fit all such descriptors, and many more besides. If only I could see it, though. A 1500, though. That's a lot of money. I find it weird that I can't examine it. Like, why is it just flat? Why can't I rotate? Hmm. Oh well. We're gonna add it to wares. <laughs> hey, if I can't even see my own painting, what's the point? Hey, hold on. Let's see if he has something else. No, no, no. Stop. Stop it. And see if he has anything else to say. Truly, my finest work yet. Okay, nothing. I see. I see. As uh, so always, the point of adding things to wares again instead of sending it to camp, for instance. Well, if you send it to camp, you're gonna have to take it out of uh, camp. When you need to sell it. Adding it to wares is just uh, an easier way to see what you're supposed to sell. And also when when you talk to a merchant, you get the you get a button where you just click add um items that you've marked as add to wares or whatever. I don't remember exactly what it says, but it's something like that. But hi again, Craig. <laughs> so, first you save my husband, then you save our marriage. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Hmm. You can show me with gold, lots of gold. <laughs> uh, if your cat walks over your keyboard, is it then Craig with a... With a... With a Cat with a Craig? Mm. <laughs> How far are we in the balding? Um, good question. We just did a, a side quest that I, I forgot that I was gonna do. 
Um, but we're gonna go to Orin after this, I think. Roughly 10 years now? Roughly? What the fuck, Chris? <laughs> Roughly 10 years, but... You sure you want to stay with Oscar after all of this? I'm afraid when one falls in love with an artist, such drama comes with the territory. Needless to say, Oscar won't be having anything more to do with the supernatural. One possession is quite enough for any marriage. You must take up his offer. Go to his atelier, sit for him. Then perhaps you will understand what I see in him, flawed as he is. Um, I'm not too impressed, honestly. But I won't judge. Oh yeah, roughly ten years with the, the balding, I see. I, 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 I didn't put two and two together. Um, I'm just slow. I'm slow. Yeah, this mansion looks very different when, um, when you don't save Oscar. Like, everyone who works here is here, and, uh, it's like an art gallery here. And... Well. It's very different. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. What's hiding here? I think there's a locket in here. Hmm. A chart love note near the illegible address to Lady Janeth, apparently from a rejected suitor. The name of the sender has been burned away. Hmm. Did I see Fox? I did! I forgot to respond to it, but I did see it. I did see it. I'm so envious. I want to see a fox too. It's your shit to your power, don't worry. No. No, I'm just slow. I'm I'm I swear I'm just slow. It's n it's not you, it's me. Uh, I guess we're going to do this. <sighs> I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> But how can I... I'm just curious how that works. Why does Short have a genie? You haven't seen it before? Uh, it's, um... It's the, um... Planar ally. So you can choose between a genie and you can choose... Uh, and, and, um... A Deva, and what was the last one? A Cambion, I think. I've got a long road ahead. It's a level six spell, so it's uh, it's quite high, but it's it has a lot of health though. <laughs> My faith will guide me. But yeah, I I just. I found a really cool way to do this. It's like I I use this. It's an uh, it's a necklace that gives you spell slot restoration. So I just use this and no I I, I summon a planar ally and then I restore another level six spell and I use hero's feast and that way they all get more health as well. She has black hair. Yeah, I'm playing as a dirge. Also, uh, I forgot that you actually, when you use a hero's feast, you get a bunch of. Uh, 
useful for the moment. Camp supplies? I didn't know that until Orion pointed it out last stream. Which should then appear here. Yeah, a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of camp supplies just randomly appeared here uh, because I forgot about it. But yeah, this is uh, unfortunately this is the superior shadow heart. Um. I don't like what you need to do to get Superior Shadow Heart, but this is just facts. It's just facts. Okay. Send it to camp. Still in control. We do need to uh, do a long rest before we go to see Orin, though, but I won't do that until I get to a point where I can't fast travel out of there. The fox was so cute, you were sitting on a bench and he didn't notice you at first, but as you moved your phone to try and take a picture, he got spooked and that's why he's running away in the picture. Oh, well, that's cute. That is cute. Was so clever. A lemon? I can just pick up a random lemon? Oh yeah, that's what I like. There's a pothole here. Or a manhole, I guess. That's why it showed uh, the quest. I mean, we can just fast travel over here. I just, I just want to go over here and see what happens because it shows the quest mark here. Which is weird. Yeah, I think we can fast travel out of here. Uh... A rush of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door. To baptize his deus most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our lord? <laughs> I want to see what happens when I say Ball created me above all others, open for his prodigy. Mm. Then you must know the way. Oh. Present the symbol, proof of your father's favor. Here, the amulet of Ball. Proof of faith held in worthy hands. It is as the Dread Lord requires. Walk in blood. Okay. I think it will turn to red here, though. Own it? Open up. Or maybe I can fast travel out of here, but I just. Hold on. Let me see. The corpse does not respond. 
Oh, okay. Because I feel like I need more spell slots and stuff for this. I have a lot on my mind. I've used up a lot of like I've used up in it. the misty step for uh, at least a Starion and Shadow Hearts. So I am. Um, I think I need to go and replenish those. Hmm. Best be on my way. Why is there so much blood right here? <laughs> Usually the blood tends to be here, but not here. Uh, I'm confused. I always do a, a hard save before uh, resting. Wait, also I forgot to talk to them after all the, the the quest that we just did and I don't know if they have anything to say. I have a lot on my mind. Ah, my consort. Mm. We are so close to our triumph. I can almost taste it. Okay. I guess they probably don't. <laughs> Look at them just all, all just waiting here. Um... Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. This part is not easy. Uh, well, I, I mean... It's not that bad. As long as you're just prepared, I guess. Oh shit, I forgot to tell- no, I forgot to tell him to- 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 to bite. He would have given him, uh, some advantages. Okay. Well, let's leave. I forgot to- s forgotten to sell stuff again. All we need to do is... This whole part again. Can't afford to stay idle. I don't know if I should um, summon... The Cambion now. Charm a humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. You gain advantage on charisma checks. And uh, I don't, I don't know if that works on these, but I, I think maybe it does. No, I pressed the wrong E. You know, I feel maybe the Jin is the best one for this as well. Now we need to... Well, we don't need to summon Scratch, but I'm gonna summon Scratch anyway. And then... I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Do 
Here we got the feast supplies. <laughs> water. I don't need water. I need water. Okay, let's see. Because what I'm planning to do is... I'm going to use Dimension Door on with, with uh, Shadowheart and Astarian. Right off the bat. Before we get into uh, Knife in the dark. combat. That's what I did on my first playthrough and it worked really well. Because it sends me exactly where I want to be. my second playthrough <laughs> yeah I mean I have um, a different playthrough as well that I created off stream but I this is the one that I've progressed the farthest in out of the two so technically it is my second playthrough um, Starn, he can do that. He can avoid being seen. Well. Ready or not. I guess not. I'm ready. But it is important that the two of them end up um up here. But I need to go all the way over here, I think, to do that. I don't know how much it takes to initiate combat here. How delicious. Moving. But it seems to be... Well, no, I'm not surprised, okay? Is it a build kind of vibe, like Elden Ring, so this playthrough is different? Um, well, I mean, you can kind of think of it like that, yeah, but it's also different characters and stuff as well. Um, like storylines you can follow, depending on who you're playing as. So there are two uh customizable characters you can play as you can play as the original uh what they just call tab and then i'm playing as the dark urge which which is like an original no i mean the an, an origin character just like my companions here these are also considered origin characters but mine is like you can customize it so it's It's its own thing, you know, but you have a different backstory and stuff. 
I probably explained it to you in the first three scenes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a generic name. They, it, it doesn't really mean anything, really. Um, I really wish that Shadowheart hadn't been seen, though. Also, why? I'm just gonna eat them off the edge. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't die, but damn. That's so funny. Oh yeah, Sanctuary, I see. So, you know, that was actually the best call here. I forgot that they have that. Well, I don't harm, I just push. But honestly, though, he needs to uh, go over here. Let's go. He needs to go over to this dude. I actually should not have used that at all. I should not have used Luck of the Far Realms because I I, I forgot that he had Unstoppable. That was very stupid of me. <laughs> it's fine though. He can use he can use magic missile on next uh, turn. It's fine. It's fine. Can it be Shadowheart's turn now? I really need her to use uh, Spirit Guardians. Wait, my characters are- they're outside. Does that mean that I can't- I think I should be able to pass through here, though. Have to keep going. Well, I was hoping at least. I just want her to jump over here so that Shadowheart can use Dimension Door and bring at least one other person with her. That's all. Cannot be moved- oh fuck. That is so annoying. Well, she can still use uh, Spirit Guardians, though. I guess I'm just gonna have to use Dimension Door next time. I still never heard anyone speak bad about this game, which is nice, because it is one of the best games ever, ever made. <laughs> you should definitely give it a give it a, a go. I I highly recommend it. And yes, it has a bit of a steep uh, price, 
when it's not on sale. But it's still worth it. Like, it could have cost the twice as much. And I would still feel like it would be worth it. Um, also, I forgot that there was an ad. Um, they probably explain it. Wait, I read that. Uh, six month uh, in, does anyone have any potential game of the year? Hmm. No. I haven't really played any new games, except for Animal Well, I guess, that came out this year. I think that's the only one that I played. That has been new. I don't think I can reach over here, but I, I kind of just wanted to see if I could. Hmm. Actually, what if he can um, just teleport over here and then they can both be teleported together? A flintlock? Mm. Is it fair to have DLC? Maybe if it's a certain size? Well, <clears throat> um, it did happen with The Witcher 3. Not game of the year, but it did win um, best RPG, I think, Blood and Wine, when that DLC came out. So it could happen. It could absolutely happen. Um, because that is the only DLC that has uh, won a game award, I think. I don't know if it's the only one or if it was just the first one. It could win best Eldritch. Well, if that is a category. Yeah, it could. It could happen. Yeah, she can't do anything. Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. I also wasn't supposed to do anything during the ad break, but... to use dash Okay, 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 okay. I don't think he can do anything else right now, but... Except dash. Hmm, he will be a target for other others here though but uh you asked the question about game of the year because you remember the hype about Baldur's Gate 3 last year and other games and not really seen any hype for games this year but still time to go yeah I mean Baldur's Gate didn't come out in until August so it could also just be that game of the year hasn't 
come out yet. No, stupid. That's what I was trying to avoid, her breaking her concentration. But to be fair, I fucked up from the beginning here, though. They should not have been seen because that ruined my entire plan. Um. But it's fine. The important thing is that we... That we kill this dude. That's very important. That's the only thing that matters, really. Um... Yeah, because within three rounds, we will all die. <laughs> so that's the trial here. We just have to kill him before... Uh, before we all die. Frog Monster Game of the Year. Mm. There are no Baldur's Gate 3s this year, though, as far as you've seen. Last year, there were several candidates. 2024 is certainly more quiet. Mm. Flintlock isn't even released yet. Not better than Christ <laughs> Christoph. <laughs> um. Hellblade 2, though. Mm. On the face of it, this game looks so good. It is really good. Like... I had seen some gameplay before I started playing, and I was like, ah, this looks good, but I'm also not- I'm not really into turn-based combat. That was the only thing that held me back. But now, like, it's, well, in this game at least, I love it now. I wouldn't say that I love it in general, but I love it in this game. And it's just a fantastic game overall. Let's see. Hmm. I just wonder how far I can teleport. Breathe deep and move. Why is my range so short? Oh. It's well, I'm going to use the fairy fire here just to make sure that everyone can see them or maybe I can just use this because I know that there are a few here but I also think that there are a few around me no because I'm not under the um uh 
Um, the aura of murder. So it should be fine. Let's see. I just feel like I need to use something. Hey, Andy Bunny! How you doing? <laughs> Hope you're well. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Hope you're doing well as well. Time to log off and wind down before bed. Early start tomorrow. Have a great rest of your stream and evening. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for being here, Sarah. Uh, I hope you I hope you sleep well. Um, yeah, I also have an early morning tomorrow, but. I'll probably be on for at least an, an hour more. I think we can try. Oh. I thought there were people here. Never mind then. Oh well. I guess this is more of a trial and error than I than I thought it would be. <laughs> don't want him to be seen yet dash as well. It's because target is out of sight on normal range. But let's see. Okay, so it's just piercing damage and slashing and all that stuff. Hmm. I don't think he heals. I don't remember, actually. So I'm not going to use that, but... I mean, fire is always good. Could also use arrow transposition. But that would leave me with only one bonus action, so I don't think that would be worth it. And then he will start teleporting again, so I don't think that's smart.
Hmm. Critical miss? I don't think so. The annoying thing is that he can't stand here and uh, do anything, so he has to stand up there. See, I knew that there was someone here, but why weren't they seen by the fairy fire then? What's going on? Why can't she... Oh. That was weird. Should I? I don't I don't know if I should, but I'm very tempted to. <laughs> uh I don't know. Fire is always good. You know? is an action. That's so annoying though. I'm not entirely sure what I'm s I should do. I could do that as well as using spirit guardians on the next round. I just want to see, I, like, no, I, I just want to see if I could uh, see the likelihood of achieving that, but uh, it would have it been funny. <laughs> it would have been funny if I could turn him into a sheep. to see what scroll she has. I guess she doesn't really have any. <laughs> but okay, fine. We can we can do that.
Hmm. Well, she should heal herself a little bit. If only a little bit. magic missile from here? I can't. Well, that is unfortunate, but I... Hmm. I can still use Misty Step, though. Do have anonymous follows, by the way. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can. I can just. Obviously, I can't turn into the Slayer, uh, because that also uses a bonus action. But I can use one spell from here. And as long as I just stand really close to the ladder, I can climb up the ladder. I'm kind of tempted to just go with this one. Maybe just... Oh, well, I, I, I guess I can't. Well... Yeah, the range is a little bit too, too, too short on that one. Dude, how can the target be blocked? That should be within my line of sight. What do you mean? That's bullshit. I'm just gonna go all out and see what happens. Let me, just, let me just save. <laughs> I was kind of fucked from the start here because of because we got notice before I intended to. That's what I thought. What if I use... No. Oh. Well, my character might die now, but that's that's fine. That's fine. I think. Maybe. Hey, Palm! How you doing? I mainly just have these as a distraction. You had to go all the way up here to do that? Okay. Yeah. 
Wait, what happens if I yeet him in, in there? <laughs> well, I guess it didn't actually change anything, but it, it was funny though. <laughs> now he's just farther away. Oh, damn. It wasn't the smartest move, obviously, but you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. Mm. It's all right now. Just eat it. Jamaican jerk chicken, mozzarella steaks, chips, and hummus. Mm. Nice, nice. Sure, just in, just in case. No time to waste. Hmm. Honestly, though, might as well use that now. I can't really do much anyway. Smooch by any bit? No, not today. Not today. Not yet. <laughs> Cucumber and red onion, but that's just fixings. Hey, it counts. The, the ghouls mainly just function as a distraction, really. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, Marev. It really, really sucks. It really does suck, doesn't it? Still, no, I can't. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, he can use dash though. Ah, but there's so much ice here. He's gonna be knocked prone. That would be really silly. really need to kill him now, you know? It's very important. <laughs> Let's see. Well, he's undead. I don't know if I have anything for undead. We 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 gonna attempt to do that. No escape. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me?
What? Maybe it's Vusi if it's a vampire. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Broke the ladder. Shit. This is fine. Let's do that. I cancel an action though. That's so annoying. wasn't for that stupid ladder being broken. <laughs> I mean, is it, it could it could be worth it. I don't know. I don't know. It probably is worth it. Let's let's just let's just go with it. Ow. I just really need her to be able to to kill him now. <laughs> uh, let me just let me just save. Let me just save. I'm just terrified of her uh, being knocked prone. This would be a very a very safe bet. Yeah. Okay. I think we can do this. Maybe. Possibly. Yes. Okay, so we're safe now. Kind of. I mean, we still need to fight the others, but at least we won't have to worry about dying instantly. And these are still alive. <sighs> okay. Actually, can we just move this way? Then it's fine. We don't actually have to kill the others, do we? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, let's... Sure. What? That's rude. I'm gonna have to do a long rest after this anyway, so might as well just turn into the, the slayer. In case she comes after me. Wait, 
Can I do it again? No. I cannot. Wait. The trial is complete, the way is open. Yeah, I, I know. So why are they still hostile towards me? I thought that they would stop being hostile once I finished the trial. I don't know. Uh, hope you all are well. You've been lurking since 15 minutes into stream. Oh, I appreciate that, Palm. Yeah, if you if you if you need to lurk, then that is totally fine, you know. Wait, where is she right now? Oh, she's up here. Well, she does have the jump though. But it will be painful. Way. It sucks, though, that the stupid ladder is gone. <laughs> um. Let's see. I guess I can just use dash. Sucks. Oh, I can teleport to wait. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm in a not good position right now. <laughs> not the best position at the moment. Ah, oh, damn, I guess I could have gone down there. Well, that's annoying, too. I didn't even think about that. I'm a little bit slow today. I'm extra slow today, okay? It's, it's fine. Hey, Amanda! I don't even know what I said, so it's, it's all good. I've said a lot of things. Oh. Well, I guess... Uh, I guess that answers it. Oh, I'll burning. Wait, what did he say? Yeah, I guess I guess that answered my question. <laughs> because I was like that happened in my first playthrough too. So, um, but I but then again, things are a little bit different on tactician as well, so. About if I uh the fight should be over cuz you finished the trial. Yeah. I I kind of got my answer though. Now. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was pretty sure that that would happen, but then it just didn't happen. Hmm. It said perception failed. Why was it only my character? Hmm. 
Oh. What's that? What indeed? Well, hello. Why don't you go check it out? Why why can't I interact with it though? There we go. I have so much shit. The sweat blotted letter looks unfinished, perhaps even unsent, to my fellow blood brethren. If you are reading this missive, knows know that you are, you number among my most trusted confidants. Also know that if you betray my trust, my hands will grip your throat with the steadfast embrace of long parted lovers. So, yes. Of late, my friends, I have felt a calling when my fingers meet each other around a windpipe. As if there's a voice whispering sweet nonsense into my ear as I tear the breath from my quarry's lungs. I think I am chosen by our lord of murder, perhaps even related. Yes, my brethren, I will stake my claim on a legacy of murder, a throne of blood. I will challenge Lady Orin to her birthright. And if my grip stops her gasps before she flays my skin from bone, I will become Strangler Luke, son of Baal. Note to self. Come up with a catcher title before sending. That one's rubbish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess so. Well, let's see here. The Lord of Murder shall perish. Hmm. So I can actually... I can't actually fast travel out of here from, from this place. I didn't know that I... I didn't think that I could. See what they have to say, though. Damn, I, sh blessings upon you. I should have used the short rest. <laughs> See, I'm doing everything wrong today. <laughs> I'm actually shocked that I, I didn't have to reload that fight at all. Is something burdening you? Because I did everything wrong. <laughs> I made so many mistakes. Look at you. Precious thing. You always stare so eagerly. I see. Then I'll see your delicious self tonight. I forgot to do that before the last long rest. No traps, please. We got some food be useful. But yeah, that's the way to the brain, so we're not gonna go that way. Actually, you know... No. <laughs> because I was like, maybe you should go just to get the waypoint, but I mean, there's a waypoint down here too. I'm trying to be a little bit careful here because I do remember there being some traps on the, will be sown from their passage. on the ground. I, I know that that was like here at least. Wait, what? Do you have anything on you?
You know, it's not my thing, but did you see that new Zelda trailer? Yeah, we, we watched it live um, in, in Rods' channel. It looked cute, though. Um, the game that I was most interested in, though, was the... Um, Mio and or Mayo or something. I like that. That was like the only thing that interested me. <laughs> Wait. You look sick. It did. It did. I really like the art style. Be careful. There are traps. Someone's left a trap out for us. Hmm. Over there. A trap. Someone doesn't want this. Why is a Londo? Okay. Uh, Hobbit game hype? No, it looks awful. I, I, I'm so upset about it because it looks like trash. And I'm, I'm sorry if anyone is interested in it, but it just it just looks so bad, and it makes me mad. I, I'm so disappointed by the way that it looks, and I've, uh, yeah, I've hoped that it's just kind of like a work in progress type of trailer or something that it's not gonna look like that when it's done. But I'm oh, I'm not so sure now. It was the Pretty Metroidvania, yeah. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. Where the little guys walking around on their head cables, yeah. It looked really cute. And it was very pretty. Dude, why can you not interact with the... There we go. Jesus Christ. That's, well... A little bit too late now. I'm a racist. What is racist about it? It's not the poor hobbit's fault that the game looks awful. Honestly, they deserve better. Wait! What? I have... I had no idea that this was where Dribble's head was. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh no. I've never finished Dribble's quest and I had no idea that his head was here. Oh damn. Dribbles, I believe. The question is, where is the rest of him? Indeed. The effigy of Emma Lisson, who grasped divinity. What use her betrayal? She thought herself perfect, but forgot the one she served. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. You thinking you'll try it at least? Hmm. Yeah, I just feel... I just feel like they could have done better. Uh... So I'm basically missing one arm and one leg. And... One foot, maybe? I don't- I don't- I don't know. I like how all the all the dragonborn NPCs have like very like X uh, based names. Like th there's a lot of X's in there. <laughs> it's very 
dragon-like, I guess. Hmm. Hey, Ryder! Your emotes are my favorite emote. Oh, thank you so much! Dude, that means so much to me. Thank you. I made them myself, so I, I really like it when people like my emotes. Thank you. How you doing though, Ryder? They use slap to kind. Also a bit my spacey. Uh what do you what what, what is? You don't know how uh, Ava tells me how often they use off stream, but use them all the time. Oh, I dude, that that makes me really happy. Thank you so much. I mean, my speak. Oh, the names. Oh, the names. I see. I thought like in my head, we were still talking about the the Hobbit game. <laughs> still breathing. Um, I actually I don't know like individual people like how often they use them, but I can see. I can't see how often they are used both within my channel and outside of my channel overall, but not like from by individual users and stuff. Um, Never wanted the easy path. But Alondo did not see. He did not know. He did not revel in the glory of what is to come. Hmm. You're doing good today. Um, guys, uh, they're hopefully fixing the H back. Is that how you. I, I, what is that? I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, your AC can turn back on. It's hot in LA. Oh, I see. I see. I see. But how stream is going? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. I was about to end very soon though because I see I usually don't stream Baldur's Gates on Tuesdays because I I tend to not like to sh keep my stream so short when I play this game. But now that I'm done with the game that I was playing, I'm kind of just sticking with Baldur's Gate for um, as long as I have this playthrough left, um, just to be able to finish it a little bit sooner. But I yeah I do work on 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 Wednesdays, so I always have to get up early, and it is almost 11 p.m. for me, <laughs> so that's why I usually tend to to stream something else that isn't so difficult to tear myself away from. Um, but yeah, stream has been going pretty good. We have done the quest with. Uh, Oscar. I wasn't expecting that though. I forgot that that's where we left off last time. So most of the stream went to that whole quest. Um, and then we finished the trial here. On the first try. So I'm glad that that worked well. Even though I messed up so many times. Um, so that's a relief for honor mode. To know that I... Uh, I can do that on on honor mode with a little bit of leeway as well. <laughs> so that helps. Eating ventilation and air conditioning. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Where am I with the Ginny? You only ever seen him in the circus? Oh, it's uh, it's a summon from from uh, Shadowheart. It's the planar it's ally spell. Wait, hold on. So you can summon Ginny, Ginny and a Deva and a Cambion. But yeah, I'm I'm in in uh, near the Ball Temple now, so I think that's what we're gonna do next time. I do need to do a long rest before uh, we go in there. But. I just did a long rest before going in here, but I just, I wasted so many spells and stuff, and I don't know if I, I, I don't want to risk going into 
into this fight without having everything that I need. All I know about this is that I'm gonna have a duel with with Orin, so it's not everyone who needs to be there. Uh, or like, they're gonna be there, but they're not gonna do anything, I think. So, um... But my character doesn't have... No one stopped me yet. Well, you know, I haven't used that. I mean, I also assume that I'm gonna have to use the Slayer form, which I also have used up now. So, um, I think we do have to do a long rest before this. Good work. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what if it were the Sour Ginny from the circus who I summoned? That would have been... F I, he has the same voice. Um, and the Ginny who is also at the at Sorcerer's Sundries. Doesn't he also have the same voice? I'm not. I'm not sure. So we have met two Ginnies so far in this playthrough. I don't know if there are any more. But yeah, one thing we need to do before we go, it's just the the normal ritual. We have to do it. It's just very dark here. We have to do it. Look at you, precious thing. You always stare so eagerly. Every time. Yes, my treasure. <laughs> I love. I love when he when he reacts that way. <laughs> I love when he does a little. That's my treasure. <laughs> uh, hey, Lord of Houses. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna save that for next stream. Which is gonna be tomorrow. Um, but welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, we're gonna do that in tomorrow. Anything for you, my darling. Okay, we got the best one. <laughs> My character looks so shocked. <laughs> you are perfect. Every time. Yeah, it's an evil playthrough, so we 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 Astarian is ascended, uh Shadowheart is DJ Shart. Um the only one that we didn't get to ascend was uh Lazel because I made a mistake. I didn't know that I had to kill Voss when he first approaches us in, in camp. So, um... That made it really difficult to have her uh, choose Vlacketh. Um, I needed a 30 roll to convince her, so that was pretty much impossible. I tried to reload a few times, but it was it, it was not working. So she's the only one who isn't ascended. I was planning on going that way with all of them. Um, so, that was unfortunate, but... You were worried about that fight during your dirge run and completely forgot how busted Paladin is? Don't- also, don't tell me anything, because I don't know how this is gonna go. Like, this is new to me. This is completely new to me. I have never played as a Dark Urge before. Um, so I'm also really nervous. I'm also really nervous. <laughs> because in my head, I think, like, d also don't deny or confirm what I'm saying out loud now, but I'm just, in my head, I imagine that we're gonna, like, be in Slayer form, both of us, and just... Because that's how she fights, and if it's a duel, it just makes sense that we're both gonna be in the same form, you know? So that's... But now you kind of confirm that you don't have to be, though, so I, I don't know, yeah. And Gale? I mean... Gale is kidnapped by Orin, so we haven't really done anything with his... Um, godhood uh, conversations yet, really. Um, but to be fair, it doesn't take much because that accidentally happened on my first playthrough. 
that he turned into God, Gale. I didn't even try. Um, I just didn't want to make any decisions for him so that he, he just made that choice himself. So, um, that's gonna be easy. <laughs> that's gonna be easy. Um, you don't know how to ascend Gale. You tried this last run, but then you, you got to the end and realized you didn't know how to do that. Um, I didn't even try. I think the only thing is that you just kind of don't oppose him when he mentions anything about taking the crown for himself. That's literally it. I think the only way that you convince him otherwise is if you, like, try to question that decision. Because it doesn't seem like there's one choice. It's just a continuous thing that you just... when he brings it up. So... It's not something you can just reload one one time, I think. You did a redemption run, you have no idea how that fight works when you do an evil run. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yeah, so you never got the... the, the <laughs> you never got the Slayer form then, I see. Yeah, I don't know either. I have no idea. I have no idea. We are sovereigns. My sole endeavor now is to make this world yours and mine alone. Dude, he has never said that before. I was shocked. I've never heard him say that. <laughs> I like that, though. I like that, though. <laughs> so he has three different responses when you ask, what are we to you? But while he's a spawn, he only has one response, I think. That's interesting. But yeah, we're gonna do uh, this tomorrow. We are gonna wait. I I clicked on load. I meant to. Okay, okay, okay. To the Orin. I just always say to the and then whatever we're gonna do next time. <laughs> we are gonna do a long rest though. Uh, not now, but no. Wait, shit. I don't know why I clicked there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my, my plan is to do a, a a resist dirge run on when I do honor mode. Which is kind of what this is a preparation for. This run is kind of a preparation for that because it's like, it's also going to be easier when I'm not playing as an evil character because we have a lot of different options when it comes to allies and stuff and even just Ketherick was such a pain in the ass when I didn't have Aelin. It was so hard. It was so difficult. <laughs> that has been my biggest struggle. Like Gortash, I beat him on the first try and um, Kazador, I beat on the first try as well. Uh, it's gonna be interesting with Raphael though. That, that one I'm not so sure about, but we'll see, we'll see. You might do an evil dirge run or try honor mode next. Yeah, don't do not do evil dirge on honor mode. Like, don't, don't combine the two, <laughs> because that is, that's gonna be rough. Um, but yeah, I, I do recommend trying it out at least, at least once, because, you know, it's, um, I don't know. It's nice to see all the different aspects of the game. Even though it's it's very difficult. I won't lie, it is difficult emotionally to make all those uh, choices. Um, and yeah, you don't have Karlak, you don't have Will, you don't have um, Halson or Jahira. And you don't get Minsk if you don't have Jahira. Uh, I tried. That happened last time. Um, and 
You don't have Aelin or Isabel. <laughs> so it is... It is rough. It is rough. Honor, uh, Merkel is, uh, Merkel fight is a run under. Yeah, I have heard that too. That that is the main uh, thing that ends most honor mode runs, which is understandable, because I was stuck on that fight for a while. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared either because I didn't know at the time that tactician and honor would be same. Like, I didn't know that the difficulty would be the same, so I wasn't prepared for the... I hadn't looked into the legendary actions either. So, I did not have the party that I needed for it. I did not have... The things in my inventory that I needed for it. I was not prepared at all. And you can't just reload either and go to camp because you're in... Like, you're gonna have to do a lot of different things, like, a lot of things, um, before doing it, too, because... Because you jump into the Mind Flayer colony, so... That makes it extra rough. <laughs> but you tried Honor Mode before with a friend and you failed the Grimforge Guardian? Mmm. I've heard that that also can be tricky. You only succeeded at Merkel first to go if you convince Thorm to toss himself into the hole. Uh, that's what I did this time. I think that made um, Tactician more difficult because then he... You're farther away, so he does his legendary action right off the bat. So you just lose a lot of HP before you even gotten the chance to do any, any fighting. So that's also something that I'm not going to try to do next time. It feels easier to just chip away at it with the other enemies first. So, um... Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to not... Having, uh, like, convince him to, to jump in there. Well, I mean, make him skip the first phase. I think that will actually make it easier on this difficulty. Cream for guard, you never succeeded at, at, at that. You always have to ball. W really? It's not that bad. When you. Um, there's a way to do it very easily that I kind of. I'm kind of tempted to do on my honor mode run. <laughs> to just turn into an owlbear and do the, the. the jump from up high and just one shot him that way. It just seems so cool. <laughs> You can kind of cheese that fight, though. Scratch carries the Merkle fight. Wait, what do you mean? In what way can he cheese it? Well, can he carry it? Because he can't really do much damage. I know that he can release Aelin and stuff, but... But again, I didn't have Aelin. Help action? Yeah, but when he uses legendary action, though. Scratch will die in, you know, like, he will be one-shotted. So, I don't, I don't know how that works. You didn't do that, you were invisible. A few of your folks were invisible, so they could sneak up really close before they had to initiate. Mm. You prepared some pretty busted builds for honor run, though. Monk Karlak and such. I've also been tempted to do that for honor mode to turn Karlak into a monk uh, because I, that just I, that seems really, really interesting. Because let's be fair, Berserk is uh, no Berserker. I mean that's what my subclass was for her, but um, Barbarian isn't that interesting, you know. Scratch can use that. Well, with a potion of invisibility, you can free her instantly. Yeah, I mean, freeing her instantly isn't the issue. The issue was that I didn't have her at all. Because she was dead. <laughs> um, I always did that with Shadowheart, but Scratch is a good touch. Yeah, that's what I did with Astarian during the Cazador fight. I just had a Scratch sneak over there. Um... But 
when you say carry that fight, like what else did you use him for except freeing Aelin? Because as soon as uh, Merkel uses his legendary action, Scratch will just die. Hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling not raiding out right now because I kind of need to just get ready for bed. And I can't see anyone that I'm like instantly feeling like raiding at the moment. Uh, but we're gonna be we're gonna be back again tomorrow though. I will promise that I'm gonna raid then because I don't have to get up early on Thursday. It's just tomorrow. I hate having to end stream this early, but <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna fight Orin tomorrow, and I do I do start earlier on on Tuesday, so tomorrow I'm gonna start a couple of hours later. So like two hours earlier than this, and this is my schedule. Uh, wait, I can type. There we go. This is my schedule. <laughs> you thought you did a slay command? No, I think it's just. Wait, does Rods have a slay command? I know that Owl Owl has a slay command, but. But yeah, also I do post all my vods on YouTube. Uh, honestly, both my YouTube and and Instagram has kind of popped off these past few days with. With the clips that I've posted, like I, it's it's a little bit overwhelming, honestly, but it's it's a lot of fun. I I mainly do it because I'm hoping that I will like get people to come into my stream, but it hasn't really succeeded yet, um, unfortunately. But hopefully, hopefully. Uh, if you're ready into Neil Newborn's channel, you won't have a uh, have to stay at all. But you give name to his community if that matters to you all. That's a good point, actually. He did raid me once. Um, that was wild. You know what? We can do that because he's not gonna he's not gonna pay attention. <laughs> uh, oh, we do have an ad starting very soon though. Uh, okay, well we can we can we can hurry up. We can do it before the 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 the, the thing happens. Yeah, he's playing Helldivers too, by the way. Sure, we can do that. We can do that. That's that's a good point. I just I'm always scared of raiding big streamers just because I don't want to be I don't want it to look like I'm I'm fishing for anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I feel kind of awkward doing that, but Yeah. But I'll see you guys tomorrow though. Just returning the favor. That's that's true. That's true. Yeah, he did raid me in February. That was that was probably the biggest thing that had happened the entire year. <laughs> so I'm that was that was very fun. But yeah, here's the raid message. If you're subbed, and if you're not subbed, I don't I don't know. I, maybe that's a little bit awkward to do. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah. That, that don't do that. By the way, I I don't know. I feel weird. Um. But anyway. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here.